Hey guys. Okay, no, that's that's not it. That's not it at all. That's not it at all. Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. And today we'll be checking out. Actually, <laughs> it's now time to jump into season six, episode one of Love Is Blind. I have been avoiding my usual recap reality tv youtube content for this specific reason i want you guys to see my raw and real reactions i typically talk to myself when i am watching love is blind so this is a perfect match i'm talking to you guys i'm discussing it with you guys if you guys have any thoughts about this episode please leave it in the comments below um anything you want to add anything you want to like discuss with me because more than likely, I will not be able to put everything in this, um, like, episode, uh, not this episode, this video, maybe for, like, copyright reasons, but like I said, you guys can always reach out in the comments and I'll respond, but yeah, let's jump right into it. Ever a chance your mind is shifting in your choice? The hardest thing has been, like, trying to figure out, like, what to follow, follow my heart or follow my head. You signed up to so dramatic. I feel like when the episodes actually come, they're not, it's not gonna be like this at all. But let's see. For the reason that I came here, which was to meet the love of my life, and I'll be damned if somebody sits here and they can't come back to reality. You fucked her. I know you fucked her. Huh? I choose <laughs> you. You are what I want. Oh my. For the rest of my life. <laughs> my greatest accomplishment? Finding you. All right, please. I was saying before that, um, like, I've heard such good things about this season, so hopefully I think it's good as well. I heard bad things about the past season, and I still enjoyed it, so I think regardless, I'll enjoy the season. So, let's see what happens. You fall in love and find somebody that you want to spend the rest of your life with. You'll get engaged, and then you meet your fiancé for the very first time. <laughs> when you slow motion run across yep. to him. <laughs> Not in these hills, girl. <laughs> and guys, in just four weeks, you'll be at your wedding. That's crazy. Honestly, like, when you think about the timeline that they're given in the show, it's absolutely crazy. Four weeks, a month to figure out if you, like, want to be with this person or not. <laughs> the pies wow. are now open. open. Like, four weeks is nothing, to be completely honest with you. <clears throat> like, you're just getting to know someone, but I guess, like, with the experiment, it, like, takes away some of the distractions, so if it works, it works. If you had a warning label, what would it say? Uh, does not do laundry. Oh! Guys, red flag. <laughs> you should be able to do laundry. Not even for both of you, but for himself. Like, take care of yourself, sir. What are you looking for in a marriage? Best friend on paper, but also huge sexual, emotional attraction. Are you like a nympho? No, that's not what I oh. mean. No, no, no. <laughs> I mean, I get what he was saying. Mullet. They think I'm a yeah, low Yeah, mullet for sure. Head. Hello? <laughs> I'm doing Love is Blind to see if people see my sense of humor and kind heart before they see I don't mind a mullet guys I didn't that comment wasn't for that I'm just agreeing with him it does give that vibe he does give that vibe of meathead Trevor Trevor yeah my dog's name's Trevor too <laughs> Trevor I want to know more about you tell me five things that it's a bit too coincidental don't you think like what I feel like the way she said, oh, my name's, my dog's name's Trevor too, is a bit too like, she's saying it just cause, but let's see. Good, <clears throat> cold, cold, light, and add those together, forget about it. Wasn't that Gandhi that said that? <laughs> <laughs> I don't know why I'm laughing so much with you. I feel like she's laughing way too hard at that. It wasn't that funny, I don't know. I have questions written down in the numbers 1 through 15. Okay. So if you want, you can pick a number. Give me 10. What is something you think you excel at in relationships? Kind and wholehearted as I possibly can with someone, you know? I think just from, like, knowing... These edits kill me. You're gonna be judged is always a little bit, you know, scary. Is he leaving? Oh. Matt can kiss my ass. Yeah, like, why did he leave? That's so weird. Number four, please. 
This one's been requested a couple times to try to be something different. Maybe first interactions isn't my strong suit, but you know, I would like to get better at it. Why did he come on the show? You have nice energy. Thank you. But if I can find my wife from this experience, then I guess that's something I'm willing to do. I don't know. This guy gives me like, he's off. He seems off. And I think maybe I can win you over or maybe somebody else. Is that something you want? Yeah, he talked a lot more with this girl than the others, for sure. We're all uncomfortable. We finally arrived. I think you're extremely sweet. <laughs> something about you, Matthew. Yeah, he's like opening up now, which is interesting. <laughs> They're like, maybe you should stop dating these players and these athletes and these ballers. <laughs> Okay, yeah, for sure. They're a lot of them are not looking for like long term relationships. I like the fact that cats, you don't need to show them love all the time, you know? That's a problem. For That's me. a problem. You need love all That's a problem. <laughs> I feel like cats are so chill. Like, they don't need much. They want to be left alone. They want to be left alone. They want to be fed. And like, if they want attention, they want attention. I feel like cats are chill, guys. Like, I don't mind cats at all. Are you like ready for like a long-term commitment? I, I believe I am. I think I'm ready for that next stage of like settling down. I love that. It's mm -hmm. up for the taking. Yeah. I don't know why I'm smiling, just like sitting here talking to you. You know, Eddie, I was actually doubting myself. I'm like, man, who's gonna love my like personality? Stop. Like, if they don't see me, <laughs> how am I gonna really capture your attention? So, I mean, it's really, your words of affirmation has been very helpful for me because uh, <clears throat> I was actually kind of doubting myself through this process, you know? That's so relatable, but I'm glad I was able to do that for you. Okay, so she has like two potential guys. That's interesting. Talk to him was literally like electric. Oh, did your vagina pulse? Maybe. Girl! <laughs> AD all day? Is that what it stands for all day? And I'm like, okay, okay. energy. Yeah, he's full of energy and vibes. You like Matt? He was like a hard rock, and then like I started talking to him, and he like opened up. Oh my god! And then he's like, I would love to talk to you again. Oh, I, <laughs> I love how they're all shocked because their experience with him was like, eh, not this guy for sure. Okay, I think Matthew is more so just like really antisocial and like he has maybe like social anxiety i'm not sure but he just would rather like just be with by himself which is understandable but it is like a reality tv show so you would expect someone to have like a certain personality to be on tv or like in front of a camera you know oh do it on perfect hey guys <laughs> i'm mad oh, no i'm done with potential. I'm <laughs> potential i need it now like we're, we're at the age where the potential should be there a man should be Fair. fully potential Okay, but I do like anime and I just really? feel like when you watch these movies or like Studio Ghibli films, that's yeah. what I picture. It's like I picture Kyoto. <laughs> I did binge almost okay, all fair. Naruto. I like Studio Ghibli as well. If you could see, I have a couple of Studio Ghibli posters on my wall right now. I was the only child and I know that I was depressed. Johnny, mm -hmm. when I tell you that my parents or my dad would literally <coughs> beg people at church to come to my birthday party, oh. it was... Yeah, guys, being an only child, if you don't know I'm also an only child, it's definitely interesting. It's not a preferred lifestyle, but I'm here, I'm okay. Wish I had a sibling or two, but it's, it's definitely okay. And I was like, God, please, like, I wish that you could please give me a little brother... Uh, oh yeah, I feel that heavily. No, that she'll steal my clothes. <laughs> like, I just wanted any sibling, any gender. I, I don't care. Boy or girl sibling, I a sister or brother, I would be okay. And like, my brother's my person. Oh, she has a brother. Okay, I thought she was an only child. Never mind. All day? What's up, All girl? Day. <laughs> <laughs> hey, Andy, what is, it, what is actually the A stand for? I should probably know that, right? The A stand for? Oh, I thought he was like in a towel. I was like, what? <laughs> Look at you making me blush. <laughs> <laughs> I think Clay is a ladies man, but I'm still mm -hmm. so curious. <laughs> oh yeah, for sure. I feel like he has like good talk. Super flirtatious guy. Let's see if he's really genuine like in the next coming episodes. Do you want to know an irrational fear of mine? 
is that birds will peck my brain out. Oh, really? That's like a very like, it's a very deep, like irrational affair. I suck at this dating, but I just was trying to like think of how to tell. I feel like she's gonna pick Matthew. I feel like she's gonna pick Matthew. Don't spoil it for me in the comments, okay? But I, I have that vibe. What I'm saying to you, I'm not saying to anybody else. Okay. Well, that's reassuring. I feel like Clay is like vibes and everything, but I think in the end, of, like at the end of the day, she'll pick Matthew because he's more laid back with her, and also because he hasn't opened up to anybody else like he has with her. So I think that will definitely like influence her like decision in picking him. But we'll see. We'll see at the end. It's like safe okay oh i want some wings right now i need to cook too so i think i'll do some wings <laughs> do not break up with me that is like okay have we talked about pet peeves i blow my nose she's serious uh. oh she's being serious okay i don't think that you're doing it right <laughs> Does she not blow her nose? Like, isn't that what it's supposed to sound like? I don't, I don't get it. Have you talked about her in a pod? I haven't because that's not something I just like toss out there. Yeah. I think she needs to tell them because it's a very, it's like a big factor in, in deciding if you want to be with someone or not. Like if they have a child, like I'm pretty sure it will factor in whether or not you want to be with someone. I don't, I get it, but like, I don't get it. She needs to tell them. My husband. <laughs> Wait, oh my god, I just said that out loud. <laughs> Cause what if he's not ready to be a stepdad? Like, I don't, I don't know. I get her point, but he has a right to know as well before he starts getting too attached to her. How come we didn't talk about that earlier? Yeah. It's not something I'm just gonna like lead with because I want people to like get to know me as an individual first and like establish a relationship with me even though okay. I'm so proud of it it's my greatest accomplishment it's I want to talk about it but you know we haven't talked about like when do you want to have children or like how many kids do you want to have because that's a good conversation starter for me to be like okay well yeah like I kind of already have a head start on that. I have a child mm. from a previous relationship. I appreciate you sharing that. I'm, that That's incredible. Okay, he took it well. That's good. I have feelings for you. And I knew... He's accepting, but I can tell he's still hesitant of just, like, going forward in this process with her. Red flag, but it's a part of my journey of my life. Got you. Okay. He's had a long day at this point. He was 18. He was my high school sweetheart. Okay. We were married for almost five years, but it was wow. just not my person. Okay. I'm, I mean... Yeah. It doesn't scare me. Okay. Honest, I heard bigger news today that yeah. scared me a little bit more. Uh, about me or just in general? Other people. Oh. Don't tell her what it is. Bring up other people. Yeah, I, I just have had a lot dumped on me today. Yeah, he's had a long day. Like, are you good? Because I'm, I'm... I'm good. I, I'm i good. I'm good. He's had a long day today. <laughs> good thing that you told me. And uh, I'm not judging you for that. He has, like, lots of decisions to make at this point, for sure. Yeah, I think he yeah. should have had, like, a That's middle... Okay. <laughs> Like a, another... Sorry, I'm just emotional. Oh, God. <laughs> he, I think it's yeah. just emotional because it's kind of hard for me to... Like, I don't know, say I was it. nervous to tell you that. Yeah. yeah. I, think, I think he should have definitely had, like, a date in between those two. Because he's just, like, in his head from the first one. Like, he thought this was going to be a fun date and then he got new information... So he's kind of just like uh, in the head right now. <clears throat> Opposite of what I'm trying to tell you right now.
<gasps> oh my gosh, what the heck. <clears throat> Fully dying on camera right now. Ooh. Poor girl, like, if he had probably had her first, or like, as I said, if there was like a filler date, um, like, I'm pretty sure he would have taken it much better. I, I don't even know. Shit. Hmm. Why is she looking at her like that? That was odd. I have told my three serious relationships that I have loved them, but I don't think it was really what I was feeling, if that makes sense. Yeah, no, I, my answer is exactly the same. Like, when you're in high school and you tell them you love them, yeah. like, you have nothing to base it off of. So right. in that moment, it definitely okay, is Okay, I get the high school but thing. But then, like, you meet someone who is a little more serious with the relationship. Yep. But three serious relationships and you're telling people you love them and you don't mean it is kind of a red flag. I got married. And if if you never like if you're in their age range and you've never had a serious relationship, that's okay too. I'm just agreeing with what he's saying. It was very not deep. Oh my uh, gosh, Johnny. Remember Johnny from the last season? Definitely interesting. Uh uh um Uncle's next first. <laughs> Right. Oh my god. <laughs> in the pause, we're really able to okay. do everything and he makes me laugh. And that's a beautiful thing. <laughs> Holy shit. What? I ripped my pants. <laughs> <laughs> that's crazy. Pants way too tight, my guy. Like that's bound to happen. That's crazy. Okay. A couple buttons down, some chest hair flow. Let them know. I got some taco meat up top. You know what I mean? Taco meat up top. Interesting. I've never heard it referred to as before. Hang on. I gotta go back really quick. Did you did you refer to chest hair as taco meat? Yeah, we'll talk exactly. Meat up top. Taco meat. Interesting. That's a way to say it for sure. All the girls are like so sweet, like so supportive. But I mean. Okay. The lounge has switched up. Mm -hmm. We are no longer like chatty caddies in there anymore. Mm -hmm. We're like, yeah, this person. We're so elusive. Mm -hmm. I'm going to tell you, but like, don't tell anybody. Like, mm -hmm. we are keeping our men tight. Oh, yeah. No, like, literally, today. I think it was last season or no, the season before last. It got super catty in the, in the lounge. Like, I remember people were crying and people were laughing at people crying. If you remember that, just let me know in the comments if you know what I'm talking about. I don't remember their names right now because it's been, like, a year ago at this point. So, but yeah, it gets serious at this time. <clears throat> I know there's competition. You know, my dad is one of the most smoothest and suave guys I know. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. I looked up to my dad. I've always felt like, as a man, like I should probably emulate who you look up to the most. Yeah. You know? Okay. My ego is very huge. Like, and it and it's it's been a pro and it also been a con mm -hmm. for me. And, and naturally, I am a smooth guy, but the suaveness, like the, the chill, the coolness, is like a little bit okay. of a security mm -hmm. uh, blanket. You know, I've always felt like. I could get women, but there's been a lot of women that I love. I've never felt like I was chose by the one like that I wanted. Okay. I guess maybe the way I come off, maybe I don't provide that sense of security emotionally. Yeah, because I can tell like he's probably been in relationships where the women see how he's acting and they're like, okay, I know you're not serious. Let me just move on to someone else. See, my, my favorite attribute is like lips, butt and all that stuff. That sounds like so shallow and all that, but like hearing what your best attributes are, if, if I'm a propose, that's something I need to know. Regardless of the emotional. Thing. Regardless of the emotional. Yeah. Thing, you know? Like, she's super attractive, but I can see how turned off she is because like, like conventionally she's very attractive, 
like she has the things that he just explained but just him saying that is such a turn off to her and I, I understand why I really don't want to sell myself based off like how you look um, exactly my physical attitude. yeah like that's not like what the experiment is about guys I think we found our new Bartise understand that you personally as the man that you are looks as you know are everything like why would you even come on the experiment <laughs> it's a big part of it's a lot yeah see i she's gonna pick matthew just because of this like this is pushing her over the edge to pick matthew i should have took my ass home yeah like you see like she's been with guys who has focused on that and that's why she's even an experiment right because with that in mind like they have not seen like who she is and so she's like okay this isn't working out let me come on the experiment but then if she finds a guy on the experiment who's like the guys who she's been dating it's like why what why did he even come on the experiment like why did the guy like why did clay even i don't get why he's on the experiment if he really if how she looks determines on if he like proposes or not and see now she's talking to matthew again a little jealous but you know i understand yeah you want the guy that's going to be the center of attention at parties probably isn't going to be me there's a lot of people that do that and, and i yeah see she wants she wants a guy just like matthew to be honest and i understand guys like me win more i mean i'll just tell you i wouldn't think about you like all the time really yeah oh my god sorry guys i'm like worked up because like why would he even come on the experiment if he had these thoughts i don't get that you're just saying that no i'm not At trying all. to just say like anything. what if she picks clay i'm gonna be upset because her gut reaction was like yeah i'm not for this so if in the end she picks him i'm gonna be like very like put off by that very protective of you <laughs> it just feels different Girl, pick Matthew. Pick Matthew. Like no one else wants him <laughs> because of their experience with him. Like you have no competition. Pick Matthew. Yeah. And that's either with you or not. <laughs> Should I have started off with jokes instead of going deep? <laughs> no, I am. Um, I'm like so happy. I don't know what to say. Mm -hmm. I feel like the only reason I'm here is for you. Oh my god. <laughs> mhm. Mm if she doesn't pick Matthew, guys, if she doesn't pick Matthew... I'm really happy. Because I feel the same way. I wish see? I could see you. Guys, I, I saw this coming. I'll just give you the biggest hug. I hope he doesn't, like, get, um, like, like, not distracted, but I hope nothing, like, discourages him from proposing. Because it's going good so far. So. As honest as I can. But... What is my greatest accomplishment? Finding you. Okay. Too much? No. Yo, he's sweet, sweet. But in like a humble way, which is good. I wanted to call my mom and tell her, <laughs> like, oh, I finally found her. Oh my gosh, guys. Like, why am I so lucky? Yeah. Girl, you better pick Matthew. Don't pick anybody else. Don't pick Clay. It doesn't matter to me. I mean, that's why I'm here, isn't it? You're exactly. Like See? I meant to. See? Like, he's here for anything. That's the whole point of the experiment. Like, I, guys, sorry. I'm still upset at Clay. Like, why would he even say something like that? And come on the experiment. Like, why are you wasting these women's time? Oh, my goodness. <laughs> Five more word. days. If you want to leave, I'll leave with you. For real? Yeah, it would. Oh my gosh, where are we going to go? Matthew. I'll take you to the top of the mountain and propose to you. I don't care. I think she's, like, convinced. I, I need to stop saying take Matthew at this point. Really hopeful, really, really optimistic about this with you. Ooh. Guys, I have good feelings about this couple. He came off, like, very, like, cold in the beginning, but... Like, he and AD, or he and Amber, like, definitely match for sure. I wonder who else is with Clay. I don't remember seeing anybody else. Okay, it's good that she's getting, like, good vibes. Oof. It's good that she's getting good vibes through, like, the wall. 
Yeah, Clay, you, you lost AB with that comment for sure. I have a good day. Who'd you have? No. Who? He talked about like asking my dad. Oh, yeah, yeah. before you interview. Yeah, he can't do that. Yeah, I can't do that. I was like, I'm fine with that. That's the last thing I do. I'll leave today. Yeah. And I just thought it was like, you see? Wait, what? <laughs> I, had, I mean, it was a great day. Yeah. Guys. Are nice, right? But like, I need action. He did talk about action. He was like, do you need to draw me a map? So like, come get you. Guys. And I was like, and I can get you. <laughs> Guys. Guys. Okay. What? It's just getting stranger and stranger it's as the odd. fucking minutes go by. Yeah, it's literally wild. I don't want to get excited. You know what I mean? Yeah, we'll see. We shall see. Oh, the air is so stiff right now. So tense. Guys. What's going on? Like, I I may have jumped too quickly on AB and Matthew, like, getting together. I was, I jumped too quickly on, like, trusting and believing Matthew, unfortunately. Oh my gosh, I can't wait to see how all of this unfolds. Um, let me know your thoughts about the first episode in the comments below wow that's a lot to take like that's a lot to take in what the heck um sorry like i'm a bit like super like taken aback right now but um yeah guys um leave any recommendations in the comment sections below and like and subscribe um please um let me know if there's any other like reality tv show you want to watch I'm, depending on which one i may or may not watch it we'll see but yeah um i'll see you guys next time bye